Hi all. Today's topic is subgroups problem. So what is the question given? If G is a set of all ordered pad A comma B where A should not be equal to 0 and B B real number and binary operation star on G and some condition has been given. Okay, you have to use this condition then only prove. Show that G star is a non-abelian group. Non-abelian group means it's nothing but group. We have to prove G star is a, we have to prove what we have to prove. G star is a group. First, we need to prove it. Okay, group means all the four conditions are satisfied. Then it is a group. So, we have to do. Additionally, show that the subset H of all those elements G, which are of the form. This element is a subgroup we have to prove. So, we know that it's a subgroup means the condition is nothing but A star B inverse belongs to an H. We need to prove. Okay. So, correspondingly, this element, it should be belong. So, we have to prove it to that. Okay. H, we know that it is not an empty set. So, we have to prove that. So, both the condition you have to do. First group, first I will do. Before the group, we, we know that. Okay. It is obvious to prove closure and associative. It is obvious. It's uh, closure and associative, we can uh, prove it, okay. So, now I will prove identity and inverse, okay. Because every element, identity and inverse will change according to our uh, uh, problem, okay. So, according to our problem, so what it is given, I first I will prove identity. What is identity element, first I will prove it. Identity means E is identity element. I will take two element E1, A2 is identity element of A, comma B. Then I have to write it this format. I have to write the given question format. So, E1, E2 are the identity minutes. When I write it, how can I write it? So, E1, comma, E2, star. So, A, B, I will write it. A, B equal to, okay. So, A, B, same A, comma, B element, okay. So, I have to get like this, okay. So, when I write it, so this, when you apply this, Okay, it's nothing but E1, A1, A, okay, AC. It's like a AC. Okay, that only I have written. E1, A, okay. Next is BC. Same BC plus D. So, same way I have to write it in comma. So, I have to write comma E2, A. E2, A plus B equal to a comma b now it is the meaning this first element is equal to a second element equal to b so e1 a equal to a e2 a plus b equal to b equate it so a a right cancellation it is cancelled e1 is 1 in this b e2 a plus b Okay, A equal to B minus B zero. So E2 is zero in this. Okay, A not equal to zero. Already it is mentioned in the question. A not equal to zero. So E2 is zero. So we got the identity element is nothing but E1 comma E2 is nothing but 1 comma 0 is the identity element. Next is the inverse. We need to find what is the inverse. Okay, inverse. When I find the inverse, 
I will take I don't know the which is the inverse so I will take general x comma y is the inverse of a comma b is the inverse of a comma b when I take it now when I write it as per the format x comma y star a comma b equal to now identity element e okay identity element is nothing but 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 I have to write it okay why we write it here means e star a equal to a a here is of the format a comma b and it is in a bracket of 2 comma that reason only we write it same way here so here now when I write it I will multiply this it is uh, x y x a comma y a plus b equal to 1 comma 0 so what is the meaning x a equal to 1 y a plus b equal to 0 so from this y a equal to minus b so we need to find y only y is nothing but minus b by a x is nothing but in this x is nothing but 1 by a so what is our inverse x comma y is the inverse so the inverse a comma b is 1 by a comma minus b by a is the inverse okay this is the way we have to find the identity and the inverse so completed if all the four condition are satisfied what it is g star given g star is a group so group we have satisfied it group means non-emlian group only non-emlian group means it's group so next we have to prove it is of the form so we know that we know that h is not an empty set so we have to write normally subgroup means what do we write a star b inverse belongs to h only we will be writing general now as per our Costing, uh, I will show you the costing once. See here, see the costing. It is one comma of the form, one comma b of the form only you have to take. So one comma b of the form it is asked means we have to take that only one comma b, one comma b as a a. Okay. So star one more element we have to take it. So one comma c a will take it. The whole inverse. I have to calculate okay before calculating so this is nothing but inverse this is nothing but inverse this is nothing but inverse rule so inverse what is the formula for inverse here we already we have calculated 1 comma b I will keep it as it is star inverse you apply it so 1 comma b inverse 1 comma c inverse is nothing but so this is a b okay so according to that okay so 1 by 1, 1 by 1, comma, minus b is nothing but here, minus c divided by a, a is 1, the whole uh, power 1 only. Okay, now multiply it. Now simplify this. It's nothing but 1, comma, b as it is, star, so 1, comma, minus c. Now it is the costing. Now apply the given costing by the definition, by the given definition. By the definition of the given costing. So when I apply it, what I will be getting? So 1 comma 1, 1 into 1 comma, so b into 1 minus c. Okay, so it's nothing but 1 comma b minus c. So this is belongs to, so which belongs to? 1 comma b minus c belongs to h instead of a star b inverse the whole belongs to h this is belongs to h therefore h is a subgroup of when i prove itself it is a subgroup only we have proved so h is a subgroup of g thank you